BRC20 tokens, Bitcoin ordinals absolutely blowing up over the last couple of days and weeks. As you can see on June Analytics, looking back to the start of this year, there was only just a few thousand daily interactions on the BRC20 chain. And literally today, we have half a million total inscriptions in one day, folks. So that goes to show that the BRC20 network is absolutely blowing up at the moment. And there is a lot of good opportunities to pick up some good BRC20 tokens, start interacting early before a lot of people get involved. And I do think that we are still early. And that's why in today's video, I'm going to show you guys quickly how to set up your Unisat wallet so that you can actually start interacting with these BRC20 tokens. I'm going to share you guys quickly how you can set up a Unisat wallet, deposit some Bitcoin and get enough points so that you can interact with the Unisat marketplace so that you can actually start minting Bitcoin ordinals and then also obviously buying these BRC20 tokens. And also later in the video, folks, I'm going to be sharing my top four projects that you should add to your bags right now in case we do see things continue to blow up over the coming weeks, guys. So let's jump into today's video. The total market cap for BRC20 tokens right now is sitting just over 500 million. There is 14,450 tokens created so far. And in the last 24 hours, over 200 million in volume. So that goes to show there is a lot of attention and volume flowing into the BRC20 tokens right now. And I would assume this is probably due to the hype with meme coins flooding into that side of the market. People are looking for more opportunities and unique investment opportunities in crypto. And that's exactly what we're seeing with the number two project on the BRC20 chain right now is a project called Meme, which is up over 800x from its initial price, guys. So I'm going to show you guys quickly how to set up your Unisat wallet. So once you load up unisat.io, you'll be met with this homepage. Now, guys, you just need to simply install from Google Chrome or GitHub, and then you'll be able to interact with your own Unisat wallet. It's very, very similar to MetaMask, the most popular wallet. And you guys just need to simply set up your passphrase, very similar to MetaMask or Trust Wallet, which you guys have probably used before. And then what you can do is go over to a centralized exchange like Coinbase or any other exchanges for that matter that you keep your funds on like Bybit, Binance or BitGet, and then simply send some Bitcoin over to your Unisat wallet. And you just copy your address like this, very similar to MetaMask and Trust Wallet, guys. So once you've deposited, I'd say a minimum of $100 just to test the waters on the BRC20 chain inside your Unisat wallet. It's very quick and easy to do, folks. You want to head over to the marketplace. Now, once you try to interact with the marketplace, it's going to say that you need 20 or more Unisat points to actually be able to interact with the marketplace. And the fastest way to actually get the Unisat points that you need to interact with the marketplace and start buying ordinals and BRC20 tokens, you actually just need to click on the BRC20 tab at the top of Unisat and then go to where it says in progress, guys. So I've, a lot, I've watched a lot of tutorials on YouTube in the last couple of days and 48 hours in particular. And I find that YouTubers right now are very much confusing people. They're making it seem like it's a lot harder than it actually is to go onto Unisat, get the points that you need and start interacting with these tokens. So all you need to do, folks, is head to the in progress tab and you're going to see a bunch of essentially minting projects that are in progress. And what you want to do is pick any project. I don't know. I haven't done any research before this. I'd recommend, you know, just picking any project that does not have uh, over a 90% progress rate, because that means that you potentially could fail with your interaction and lose the fee involved. So we have a tab here on the right hand side called holders and transactions. So ideally, you want to pick one that has slightly higher holders and interactions. So we'll go for HLDR, which I imagine stands for holder or hodler. So we can see some information about this project. They have a supply of 10,000 tokens. Already 3,440 are minted and there's a limit per wallet to 10 of these tokens that you can actually purchase, guys. There's currently 70 holders as well. So what we're going to do to get our points to be able to interact with the marketplace is click on mint directly and then you want to obviously max mint. So we'll scroll this over to 10 and then make sure in the amount it also says 10. And then we can go over to next and it will confirm here you have your 10 uh, mints as you guys can see and then just simply click on next now head inside your unisat wallet and you actually want to copy your address as you guys can see and then you want to simply paste it into this field here it might automatically be filled but just double double check anyway to make sure it's not a random address and then similar to what we see with the ethereum chain we have the equivalent for gas fees the network fees as you guys can see currently at a pretty normal state and you can come over to a website called mempool 
MEM pool dot space and this is going to be essentially the same as the Ethereum gas tracker and you can see how much it costs to actually interact with the BRC20 chain right now and as you can see the medium priority so that's going to be most likely how much you're going to pay for the network fee to interact is only one dollars right now so despite it being so cheap and only one dollar it does take a while to interact with the Bitcoin chain so you're looking at 10 to 20 minutes usually um, per network interaction sometimes more it really depends but the good thing about the bitcoin chain in comparison to the ethereum chain is obviously a lot lower fees guys so you can see that in total it's going to cost us 28 dollars and 44 cents to be able to pay for our 10 tokens that you guys can see and then once we've done this which i'm actually going to do with you guys right now you click on pay with the unisat wallet it's going to pop up just like metamask so you have to sign the transaction Literally the same as MetaMask, very simple. You just click sign and send. And then as you guys can see, payment has been received and the inscription is now in the queue. You get your order ID and the total amount as well, guys. So this is very, very simple to do. And then once you've had your 10 mints, as you guys can see, it's going to update in real progress as it's inscribing. Once you've got your 10, which was the max for this project, then you want to, of course, go ahead and find another project to get another 10 because we need 20 points on the Unisat wallet to be able to interact with the marketplace, guys. So don't overthink. I see a lot of these YouTubers right now producing content about these BRC20 tokens, and they're very much convoluting things and making it seem like it's a lot harder than it is, folks. So literally all you need to do is pick a random coin, as mentioned, and then we can simply mint uh, the max mint availability so that we get our 20 tokens now i'm not going to find another project to mint now to meet the tokens but just assume that i've done that and then we'll go on to the next part of the video where i'm going to share some gems with you that you need to add to your bags right now that look very solid and could see huge gains over the coming weeks guys so let's jump into that part of today's video so the first project guys that i'm adding to my portfolio and testing the waters bearing in mind i'm kind of new to these brc20 tokens myself but it does very much intrigue me. I'm starting with the first ever BRC20 token ever to be created, which is called Audi. Now, obviously, this has a lot of historical value. So if we do see the Bitcoin chain find its feet and continue with such development that we're seeing right now, buying the first ever token ever created is probably going to have a lot of historical value as we move forward. And that is the project called Audi. As you guys can see, it has a supply of 21 million, same as Bitcoin, and obviously it's 100% minted. The current price is $16 with a 345 million market cap, which is pretty much most of the whole BRC20 chain right now. The whole, most of the market cap is actually sitting in this project with the volume over the last 24 hours closing in on 200 million, guys. And you can see that people were trading this token back on the 29th of April at $1.57, and it's currently now $16. So you might be thinking, well, maybe we're late to the party, but I generally would disagree. And I think it's a good opportunity to get your feet in the water and test out the waters and see what you guys think of the whole BRC20 madness that is going on right now as a result of the meme tokens, guys. And what's really cool about Audi is it's actually being listed right now on Gate.io and some other centralized and decentralized exchanges. So this token is already tradable on Gate.io. I believe you can't actually withdraw the token yet. I'm, I think they're still implementing the support for being able to withdraw this token. However, you can still trade it over on Gate.io. And if we load up Gate.io now, you can see that people are trading Audi over on Gate.io. As you can see, once it was listed, it had this big move to the upside from $1, spiking at $30 and has since pulled back to the current price of around $12. On the BRC20IO website, it says $16, so I'm not sure why there's such a big discrepancy here. Potentially, that's just Gate.io. I'm not too sure. I'm trying to figure out the waters myself, folks, but Audi does look very good, and you can see I can't quite draw uh, a trend line right now, but you can see we are breaking through the OHERD resistance on Audi, and it looks very good. So if you guys want to get your feet in the waters, as mentioned, I think this is probably a good project to start with based on the fact that it is the first ever token created on the BRC20 chain, guys. Now, guys, bringing me on to the second project, which is indeed Meme, which is the first ever Meme token created on the Bitcoin network. And we all know how the other first ever Meme token on the Ethereum network went, and that was Dogecoin, which is still sitting in the top 50 cryptos by market cap as we speak right now. And I think that there is a lot of potential early investing into this project that only has 13.9 million market cap folks so imagine if this went to even 10 percent of dogecoin over the coming years as we inch into another bull market we could see the sentiment move towards bitcoin brc20 tokens bitcoin ordinals 
And therefore, the first ever meme token, being this project called Meme, could perform extremely, extremely well. And very similar to what we just saw with Audi, Meme is also available to be traded over on Gate.io and it has a very similar fate, as you can see, pumping from its lows of around $49, spiking just shy of $300 and since then pulling back to its current price of around $85 for this token. And you guys can go and do some research over on Twitter, look at the cash tag, see what people are saying about this project, which then goes without saying, if we're bullish on meme tokens, we therefore should be buying the BRC20 equivalent of Pepe, which is currently sitting at a 23 million market cap, which is not even a few percent of what the current market cap is for the real Pepe, sitting over 500 million, currently only 23 million. There is a lot of potential here with a supply of 42 million, obviously max minted, currently sitting at just above 50 cents. And you can see that people were trading this token back in April 30th at 26 cents. So it's not even shot up too much since then. However, you can see that it did spike to prices above $2, likely when Pepe was having its insane rally about a week ago. So we're seeing now Pepe pulling back and we're in conjunction with Bitcoin also going down. So I imagine that Bitcoin is dragging some liquidity out of these tokens for now, which gives us a good opportunity to actually start entering and picking up some of these BRC20 tokens. If they have another rally, we will be well positioned, folks. Now onto the last project, which I'm super, super bullish on. Now, this is a project with a lower market cap, not even 2 million yet, and was minted just a few days ago called SZAB paying homage to the original smart contracts founder. I think his name was something like Nick Saab. I'm seeing a lot of people in the crypto space very bullish on this project due to its utility, obviously linking back as well to the original smart contracts founder, Nick Zabo. And if we come over to their website, which looks very good, I did some research before this video and you guys can see if I read this out loud. The Zab protocol, Zab is a backend protocol on the BRC20 blockchain with the goal of establishing Zab as a crypto native reserve currency. It conducts autonomous and dynamic monetary policy with market operations supported by the protocol owned Zab treasury. Zab serves a need in the market gap between BRC20 pioneer tokens as Audi and volatile crypto assets providing relative stability and scalability underpinned by the protocol's range bound targeting ability, which whatever that means folks, there has some good utility behind the project. I don't personally want to go down the rabbit hole of trying to figure out the nuances of this project, but I can tell from what people are saying, there is a lot of potential and good utility behind this project, which in my opinion stands out to the other projects that we've added to our bags today, such as Pepe, Meme and Audi. There is some really cool utility behind this project, and that's why I'm adding SZAB or ZAB to my portfolio, and I'll update you guys in the coming weeks. That's a wrap for today's video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it and found this video valuable. I will be uploading some more content on these BRC20 tokens and also Bitcoin ordinals as well. So stick around for that. Make sure you stay updated. Turn the notification bell on. Drop a like on this video if you did find it useful, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.